welcome back to my channel for all the new subscribers welcome to my channel my name is kitty it's been a little minute since i've come on and do a video i haven't forgot you guys i miss you guys um i just haven't really been inspired to do videos lately i've actually been really busy with work and just mom life i am a single mom if you guys didn't know i would really appreciate it if you guys Comment down below a video you guys truly want to see. In this video, I am going to chat with you, I guess do a little story time and um, eat some Chick-fil-A with you guys. I got the 8-count grilled nuggets. Nuggets? Nuggets. Hot. Not the meal. And I always get tea. I love tea. My favorite drink in the whole world is iced tea with lemon. Yesterday was my son's birthday. My youngest son's birthday. <clears throat> he turned six, six years old. Shout out to my juicy boy. I love you. Mom loves you. It's crazy. My kids are growing fast. It trips me out. So... I was listening to a song this morning of a f person who passed away, someone that was pretty, um, coming into my life very strongly. After my ex and me split, I was pretty much, you know, I took it hard and was doing my own thing. And I met this guy. I can't even remember how I met him. Oh, I was at Mill with my sisters and this guy, this, um, native guy he was there at the bar where we were at i think he just came up and sat by me and and i was just like okay like this guy has some hardcore confidence and um, we just started talking and we just like we just hung out or we just got along like right off the bat like we didn't even know each other's names we just like were chill like we've known each other you know for all you know our whole lives I remember him going back with us to like an after party and we hung out, we exchanged numbers and, and it's funny because he lived right next to me, like not next to me but like literally a couple minute walks, a couple minutes away. Anyway this, we just like clicked and I was just like cool you know like this, this is my best friend right here you know. I wasn't attracted to him. Um, I was more attracted to his personality and his confidence and his, um, he was a gentleman and he was just a really good guy. He was, he was a really good guy and a lot of native men that I meet around here, they are not good guys. <laughs> I'll just put it like that. We started hanging out more and more and he expressed, uh, wanted to be with me basically. We started to see each other more and more and I started to grow romantic feelings for this person. I got comfortable bringing him around my boys, which I never do. I never do. That's like one of my main rules. I don't bring nobody around my boys unless, <clears throat> especially if it's a male, it's, you know, like I want it. It's just my thing. I just don't bring nobody around my boys. Um, they were very small at the time. They didn't know what was going on, but um, he had come over a few times. He expressed, um, like, just wanting to be together, and um, he had, he had uh, you know, he knew my story, what I went through with my ex and everything. He really wanted to be, <clears throat> he really wanted to be there for me all the way through, and he, you know, wanted to be there for my kids as well. That kind of scared me a little but at the same time it was comforting because to this day my kids don't really have a father figure in their lives and so that's something that I really wish for them but I'm not in a rush to make it happen you know what I mean? Like they have a dad but he's not really consistent in their life. I thought of you know this person wanting to be in my kids life and my life it was really um comforting you know by this time I had grown feelings for him and out of nowhere I just didn't hear from him like I was pretty much ghosted and I was like what the hell you know like like I either got played hardcore or there's 
I, like that was just assuming the worst. I got played. Something ain't right. I kept texting him. I kept calling him. I, I didn't get no messages at all. And I was like, okay, this guy's probably married because this, this type of stuff, this is too good to be true. And it only happens in movies, you know? So something has to be, something's wrong. He's either married and has a family of his own or he has a girlfriend or something, something is going to reveal itself. I think for like two weeks I couldn't get a hold of him and I started getting frustrated and I'm like like what's wrong with me you know like what's what is it me you know like and then out of nowhere I get a text two weeks later and they're like oh you know this is um so and so passed away and I'm like they passed away yes I said when did they pass away they passed away, you know, a few weeks ago. No, like a couple weeks ago. I'm his sister. I have his phone. I s noticed that you guys were talking and seeing each other. Um, I didn't have the heart to tell you, but you kept texting, and I felt like you should know that he passed away. And I was just like, damn. Like, I was just shocked I was so in shock that I, I remember I think I had well, I almost ha I think I was having like a panic attack or like an anxiety attack and I just couldn't believe it like I was just shocked he was a really good singer he would always go to like singing contests and stuff and win stuff and it was really cute but it just sucks because somebody that I was growing strong feelings for just passed away out of nowhere and heartbreaking and I I don't know I just, just it sucks when you can't say goodbye to somebody especially when someone that you care for passed away at a young age sometimes every now and then you know I'll think of him or I he I'll hear a song that he used to sing and I will just kind of reminisce you know a little you know it's hard not to you know I don't know I was just thinking about him this morning and I listened to one of his songs that he sang and that he recorded and I was just I just I'm always amazed that how beautiful his voice was like I don't know anybody especially who is native that had a voice like his he sang really good like I was just listening to a video earlier and I listened to it like three times and I was just like, man, that's just crazy. Life's a trip, man. Life is a trip. Once in a while, I would think like, I wonder what would have been. Like, I wonder how things would have been. I don't know. I just have learned to be honest, you know, about feelings and just, you know, Take opportunities when they're offered to you and just live in the moment pretty much because yeah it's just crazy <laughs> I, it still trips me out like man like he was so young that is my story and it's something that I haven't really told anybody I haven't really even told my family just my sisters know and they were really sad you know they were really sad for me <clears throat> So anyways, thank you guys for, it's like, I'm sorry, this is like a, such a downer, but what I wanted to, what I wanted to do first is to get this off my chest to, to kind of remember him. And so I dedicate this video to him and his family. Um, I won't say any names or anything. And um, lastly, I wanted to just encourage you to take something positive out of it and just take opportunities when they are presented to you i hope you guys have a good day i missed you guys don't forget to comment down below what kind of video you guys want to see until next time we'll see you guys have a good rest of the week hopefully i'll see you guys next week i'm gonna try my best to put something up if you guys put some suggestions down because i really need your help i'm like serious i'm like in a rut right now i'm just kind of I'm just kind of chilling right now, so I do need you guys to throw me some ideas.
throw your girls some ideas. Hope you guys have a good week. We'll see you. Bye. Thank you.